diesel engine fuel consumption, which if you're um, passage making, uh, it's important to know how much uh, diesel you know your engine burns per hour, so that you can then calculate uh, you know, how many how many hours of engine runtime do you have on board. If you've got a you know a 25 gallon tank, and maybe you got four or five six five gallon jerry cans. Let's say you have six, so you got 30 gallons in jerry cans, and you got a 25 gallon tank, so you got 55 gallons on board. Um, how much uh, engine runtime is that? You know, at cruising speeds. So it's uh, it's you know it's pretty it's pretty important um, to understand that. So we're going to look at a couple of things here. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to get a little mathy on us here for a sec. So we got. So I'm going to do this for a diesel engine, but. Um, the number you want to focus in on is this gallons, the number of gallons for the developed horsepower or per developed horsepower. And that number for a typical diesel engine is 0 0.055 gallons per horsepower. So I have a Volvo Penta 2003. It's 28 horsepower. And so if I take that decimal 0 0.555 five, uh, multiplied by 28 horsepower, I'm going to get, you know, 1.55 gallons per hour. But the thing that you have to remember is that 1.55 gallons per hour is at maximum capacity where I'm using the whole 28 horsepower. So in actuality, we rarely, as cruising boats, we rarely ever operate at full capacity of our engine. I know from tests that at 2,000 RPM, I burn about 0.5 gallons per hour. So I can then, you know, back calculate um, that I'm actually using about 9.1 out of my 28 horsepower at 2,000 RPM. So this, this is really the number that um, you want to get. And the the theoretical, you know, 1.55 gallons per hour is is really misleading. It's it's out by by 300 percent. So it's not a useful number. So what you need to do for your engine is to do a test and and pick you know if you're gonna go offshore and you know you're gonna you wanna have your boat running at something below the hull speed you wanna be uh, maybe a, a knot or two below your your uh, your hull speed uh, in a displacement boat because your fuel economy really gets terrible um, when you exceed your theoretical hull speed. So on this boat I, I, I use 2000 RPM, might be different for a different boat, but so what I'm suggesting you do is you do your own fuel consumption test, you know, before you head off on the trip. And uh, so what does that mean? You know, you're gonna, you're gonna Top up your fuel tank, the first step. Then you're going to run your engine for five or six hours, you know, at, at a cruising RPM. Like for me, it's 2,000 RPM. So pick your pick your cruising RPM, and this can be done over a series of days. Every time you start the engine, just run it at 2,000 RPM. But keep track of the time. So you know if it's five or six or seven hours. Um, all at, at 2,000 RPM. The third thing you're going to do is you're going to refill the tank and then you're going to note down how many gallons it takes. Then to calculate your fuel consumption you're going to take the total number of gallons it took to refill the tank and you're going to divide it by 
the uh, the number of hours you were running the engine at the, at your cruising speed of say 2000 rpm this will then give you a very accurate number of the number of gallons that you burn per hour at a cruising speed it can be a, a meaningful number uh, that you can then use to figure out your range for your fuel and part of the problem is you can't do you know you know miles to the gallon because of wind of current waves um, you can only really use the number of hours so um, because we're as cruisers we're up against so many different types of conditions with winds and currents and waves um, what I do is is uh, I run the boat at 2,000 RPM, and then I, I can then calculate um, for how much fuel I have on board. So in my in my 25 gallon tank, at a half a gallon of diesel per hour, I got 50 hours of runtime. If I'm carrying 30 gallons, that gives me an additional 60 hours. Now. In flat water with no current, I do about five knots, um, you know, so five knots per hour. So with my 50 hours, I can do about, you know, that's 250 miles. You get a rough range, absent current. But, um, so there's, uh, uh, the, the key takeaway is that the theoretical gallons per hour when you multiply the 0 0.055 times your, you know, a 28 horsepower engine, this 1, 1.55 gallons per hour is really not a useful number at all. You really need to, to do your own test um, for your own boat at a cruising speed that you're likely to use, you know, offshore um, on a passage of, say, 2,000 RPM. Um, and then you'll be able to calculate your number of hours. And the other thing is just, you know, make sure that the speed that you pick is a knot or two below your theoretical maximum hull speed because your fuel economy will go in the tank um, or out of the tank, as the case may be, <laughs> um, above your theoretical hull speed because you just end up pushing so much more water for that extra knot of speed. So the only thing I want to add, there are charts available that can show you, you know, developed horsepower at different RPM for this specific type of engine. Um, that can be helpful uh, for sure, better than nothing, but I would again go back and do that actual test. Um, pick your cruising RPM and do the same thing.